UVAR's cast. Uh, hello, my name is Jaume Jaume Fuentes. I'm the CRO in Validated ID. We are uh, solution partners for United Bars. And my Daniel. Name, yeah, my name is Daniel Bansens, and I'm the solutions director in, uh, in Sador. We are uh, one of the most uh, important partners in for SAP uh, globally, and we implement uh, SAP and other solutions uh, in general. And today we are talking about uh, validated ID and the and the, the partnership and relationship with uh, Sador. Great, thank you. So you're going to tell us about electronic signatures in general and what the benefits are and, and uh, when they're useful. Could you let us know? So electronic signatures are a solution that should be delivered uh, as a service so that it maintains a, a legal robustness, which is a very important uh, concept. And what it allows is to avoid uh, to execute uh, signatures in paper and we could do it digitally. So could you yeah. tell us a little bit more about the compliance aspects and especially um, obviously with the uh, larger move for everybody working or many people working from home or part home, part office and, and, and you know, the importance of electronic signatures in that situation? Sure. Well, you know, electronic signatures have been going on uh, for a while uh, uh, through uh, digital certificates. They have been a solution that was hard to implement because uh, signers, so end users, do not understand or do not even hold a digital certificate. So what has happened in the last years is that we have generated other e-signature mechanisms based on the collection of evidences. And uh, it's very important, the number of evidences that we gather during the signature process, and also to maintain the chain of custody. That's why I was saying that legal robustness is very, very important. There are many e-signature solutions from just capturing you know, the graph of your signature and stamping it on a document. That doesn't have any legal ro ro robustness. You know, we need to go uh, three steps further huh? and really gather electronic evidences and, and yeah, keep them appropriately to maintain the chain of, of custody. Yeah, there is something that has driven uh, this solution uh, in the last uh, couple of years with the pandemic situation and the COVID-19, that it's that uh, we have to reduce the mobility. Uh, but a document has to be signed, so uh, we have to to give to to customers a solution that can help them to to have their document signed to accelerate processes uh, and not to to stack the the processes and the uh, business. So how um, do they help accelerate processes and improve productivity? Well, we all know that paper is a, a, a problem huh? and we have uh, digitalized most business processes in, in, in our customers. But there is that one tiny little piece of the process that is capturing uh, a signature that is still on paper and that is extremely inefficient, huh? both because managing paper is inefficient, but also because gathering signatures, especially when there are scenarios where people are separated geographically is resource consuming and time consuming. And that's what we avoid with digital signatures. You know, we eliminate paper and we make the, the gathering of signatures really, really easy. And yeah, that implies a, a huge savings, both in resources and time and therefore in productivity. You know? 
So uh, can you tell us a bit about what kind of companies and what kind of functions can benefit from an electronic signature solution? You know, that, that that's, thank you, and that, that's the best part of it, huh? because every single company needs e-signatures, because we all have a relationship with customers and we need them to sign our contract, or we have a relationship with suppliers and we need to sign contracts, or we de deliver goods and services and we need delivery notes to be signed. Huh? And that's common to all to all companies. Huh? Um, also, uh, there are specific departments within uh, the companies that have a special need of e-signatures. I would probably talk first about, about human resources, because in human resources, there's a lot of documents that need to be signed. So in the onboarding, uh, we don't only have the contract, but also, you know, GDPR, so data protection documents or the delivery of a, a computer or, yeah, many documents that need to be signed on the onboarding, but also during the life of the employee within our organization, huh? because we have performance and goals documents, we have many documents that are signed uh, uh, every year. I can also talk about logistics, as mentioned, with, with the delivery notes. We can also talk about sales with contracts with, with customers. We can also talk about procurement with contracts with suppliers. So all companies and in many, many, many processes within each company. And what trends are you currently seeing in this area in the market? Well, there, there is a clear trend. So, yeah, e-signature solutions are covering the, the, the signature part of a process, but there is a big issue identifying uh, the person that is signing. Huh? That is nowadays uh, being done through KYC, so Know Your Customer uh, Solutions, which are uh, heavy solutions, you know, for the user it's yeah, it's a heavy process you know it takes time and it fails many times so yeah it's frustrating so i think that the trend is to to provide identification solutions that are easier for the end user to 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 use uh, can you give any advice for small and mid-sized companies on how they can select the right you know, electronics and signature solution for them, what features they should look for and, and actually what they should look for in a provider as well. Well, I would say that the most important one is uh, legal robustness. Huh? So there are many signature solutions and they all look the same, but they are not the same. So they have to make sure that, yeah, that the provider of the solution has the appropriate certifications and the, the evidences that we are gathering in the e-signature process present sufficient legal robustness. That's on one side. And the second, si second point is that they have to make sure that the people that are going to sign their documents, it's easy for them to sign. And the third, I would say, pillar is that the people that are sending documents to sign, it should also be easy for them to do so. And that uh, is done basically through good integrations with the, with the applications, with the ERP, with, with SAP. Let me add that maybe a fourth point could be um, the implementation partner. Uh, finally, it has to be reliable uh, and you have to feel comfortable with, uh, with the partner and the relationship between the customer and them has to be a long-term relationship. And we are talking about uh, um, things uh, quite important, uh, the day-to-day -day, um, processes that uh, have to be followed and we have to, to, to be stick to, to them. Thank you. And can you give any advice on um, how 
you know, how to approach integrations with SAP, you know, generally speaking, what are the problems that uh, customers should be aware of? And I'm not talking about your, you know, I know you have a specific solution, but just generally, you know, what are you seeing? And uh, if you can tell us a little bit also about um, your work with United Vars. Um. Right. Well, um... I think that the, 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 the main advice for a, any kind of customers when you're going to, to implement a solution like this is that um, the, the implementation has to be fast. It has to be a, a plug and play solution. Uh, in general, your PR uh, very, very expensive uh, and, and it takes a lot of um, investment for, for customers. So um, to add this, uh, this solution of a digital signature it can be so long it has to be really fast it has to be really um, cheap with a low price um and when we are talking about the uh, plug and play solutions um we have to take care about the the customer developments that that probably customer ha can have because in those cases, it's where uh, you have to adapt the, the, the solution to make it functional and simpler. Um, in general, what we try to do uh, from Zeter is um, to, to create a, an embedded um, platform. So uh, for customers, it's going to be much more easier and friendlier to, to use it. Uh, and then the, validate, the, the integration between validated idea and and SAP, it's going to be for them uh, native. So uh, this is thanks for the, the flexible APIs that that we have uh, between SAP and validated and the, and the robust integration between both systems. You have an electronic signatures solution in the United VARS catalog. Can you tell us a bit about that and your connection with United VARS, please? Well, sure. When we knew it existed such an organization with over 80 uh, SAP partners, platinum partners that have presence in over 100 countries. And after having developed together with Seder the, the seamless integration between e-signatures and different uh, uh, SAP solutions, uh, we wanted to become part of that. And uh, United Bars, they also have a partnership uh, program called a Solution Provider. That means somebody providing value to SAP solutions, additional, additional value. And yeah, and we wanted to become part of that and be able to, to do cross-selling uh, among the different uh, members of United Bars uh, through, through their catalog. And you worked on an implementation together. Can you recently? Can you tell us about the customer and a bit about the global implementation? Yeah, right. Um, the customer is called Guillen. It's a, a Spanish company that uh, it's in the in the logistic world. Uh, they are from Valencia and. Uh, what they have done is uh, to implement the, the whole ERP, uh, including success factors and uh, the environmental and health and safety uh, solutions. Um, well, uh, finally, it, it was a, a, a brand new solution for them because they were doing a, a huge uh, effort and a huge uh, digital transformation. So. Uh, it was uh, mandatory for them to have uh, the digital signatures in all their processes. Could you tell us a little more about why they needed electronic signatures? Uh, what problem was that solving? Yeah, it's a, a good question. Um, as any other company, uh, they, they wanted to reduce paper. Uh, it's the, the, the moment of this uh, digital transformation and, and you can't uh, change only processes or you can uh, buy a new product uh, and don't have a, the, the whole solution, a round solution, in, in this case, uh, including the digital signature. So uh, we're in the paperless era and that's why they, they, they want it. 
uh, it's also interesting because uh, they want you to have faster processes. Imagine that uh, when you have paper, you have to sign and then you have to deliver the, the document to another office. Uh, and sometimes the, the offices are in different uh, company in different cities. So uh, it's very hard to 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 have a, a fast and light process uh, like this. And last but not least, uh, as I have mentioned, the, the COVID-19 uh, has driven the solution to, to reduce uh, the mobility. Um, of course, it's going to, try to reduce the, the trial expenses and, and going to, to make companies closer. It's going to, to help uh, them, in this case, to, to sign the contracts, the, the hiding contracts, the terminations, to accelerate the, the onboarding processes. Uh, but also you can, you can use the, uh, this digital signature to, to sign agreements, uh, to, to sign the, the delivery of the materials. And of what it's being very interesting in these cases are uh, that you have to, when you have to do the, the check-in and check-out in the company, uh, there are some of them that uh, are asking to, to sign the document just to, to be sure and to maintain the, 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 the health uh, in this pandemic moment. Could you tell us more about the key features of your solution vid signer and you know how that differs from other solutions out there well as i was saying huh, it's very important the legal robustness of the solution because at, at the end of the day if we sign a paper it's because we want to gather an evidence that somebody agrees on a content just in case we'll go to court so you don't want to go to court and the judge say, no, this is signature. Eh, it doesn't present legal robustness. Huh? So legal robustness is very important. And as mentioned, is based on the quantity and quality of the signature evidence that we are gathering. So that's very important. Secondly, to make it very easy for the signer to sign. And that means generating different uh, e-signature mechanisms to adapt to the circumstances of the signer. So it's not the same if he has a digital certificate or not. It's not the same if he is in a face-to-face -face scenario or a remote scenario. So we have to provide different signature mechanisms. And there are many, many, many e-signature providers that try to solve all problems with one single sig signature mechanism. Finally, uh, it has to be easy for the people sending documents to sign to do so. As mentioned, that is mainly uh, done through integrations so that from an SAP solution, you can just press a button and, and send the document to sign. And let me say that, you know, that integrations have been done by Sailor, one of the biggest SAP partners of the world and uh, United Bar founder and member and those integrations they have high level of integration and quality but they are also flexible it doesn't take say there four years to adapt to something specific from a customer and that's also very very important so as a summary features legal robustness easy for the signer to sign and easy for the persons that send documents to sign to do so. Can you tell us a little bit more about the integration with SAP? Yeah, right. Um, I, I mentioned before, but uh, it's very important to, to mention that the APIs that are used for, for the integration between SAP and Validate ID are very flexible. So in this case, it's quite easy to, to do the, the connection between both systems. Uh, this is going to help us to, to reduce the, the, the time of implementation. Uh, and also it's going to uh, make it uh, easier, to, easier to, to offer to different partners of the United Bars uh, because they are going to, to check the, this, this platform that we have delivered and they can plug and, and play this, this solution in their customers. 
then the integration is going to be already done. Uh, what they only have to do is to adapt if there is something that we have to adapt. Um, the, the processes to related to the digital signature. Um, I think it's also important that uh, we have to mention it has to be a, a, a very a low price uh, process, and I'm not talking about only the the, the cost of the of the signatures the, themselves, but also the 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 timing uh, and the and the platform that are based on these solutions. It has to be with a very low price, um, and also I think it's interesting to mention that what we are doing is to to offer a, a try and buy opportunity. So you can try the solution to prove it, uh, and once that you feel comfortable, probably what it's going to happen is that it's only one way. You are not going to to come back to to the papers. Daniel, can I ask what Sado's experience was of the partnership working with Validated ID? Yeah, it was uh, interesting because uh, it's true that that uh, we we know each other for a, a long time. And uh, what has happened is that we have a, a very close relationship. And in fact, I, I think that the, the the, the, the word is that we have an organic uh, relationship. Um, we have a clear and recurrent profitability together. And, and what we can do is uh, we can complement each other, the solution uh, that they are often offering and the solutions that we offer to, to customers. Um, also, the, the, the partnership that we have uh, help us both help us uh, to to achieve the the distinctness with with our customers. There is a, a try and buy program for all United Bar customers, but for United Bar members, the use of electronic signatures is is for free because yeah, they are our partners. So.